And how's it going guys, Joshua Lafemi here, and in this video we're going to be answering a question that I got from my friend Deshaun Ray. He texted, bro, can you do a tutorial on how to do professional dissolves that won't look cheesy? That would be awesome. And is there a vid out there that discusses the best way to make them so they look invisible? I think I got an answer for you. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to do cross dissolves in music videos. But first, if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Envato Elements. Envato Elements gives you unlimited downloads for over 500,000 VFX packs, transition packs, stock footage, and so much more. And it's only $33 a month. And with my special coupon, you can get it for $10 for the first month. And the dopest part is you can cancel at literally any time without any penalties. I can't stress that enough. And lastly, if you sign up within 24 hours of this video dropping, I'll send you a personal thank you video message on your IG. Thank you for supporting the channel and I'll shout you out in the next vid. Just make sure to leave a quick DM on my Instagram mid by Olufemi with your receipt so I know who you are. So a cross dissolve is a gradual transition from one clip to another. This is in contrast to a simple sharp cut in between two clips. Cross dissolves though done the wrong way can just look so freaking cheesy. They remind you of those cheap default Windows Movie Maker in program transitions. I want to show you seven ways that you can actually use cross dissolves that will actually transform your music video for the better. This tutorial may actually surprise you guys. First stop cross dissolving between two clips like this on the same track and cross dissolve over stacked clips like this on different tracks. This just gives you more control over the dissolve. Random note, I always refer to the multiple overlaid clips as the stack. Second, in my opinion, longer cross dissolves usually work better than shorter ones. I try to make most of mine three seconds or longer. These seem to appear more cinematic and harken back to that classic era of cinema. Third, I try something that I like to call the show hide show. This involves starting off with a wide shot A dollying in, temporarily hiding that shot with overlapping shots B and C at say 50% opacity that are cross dissolved in, then cross dissolving shots of B and C out again revealing a now close up dollied in shot A. This is a great visual instrument that can be used to sneak a quick performance shot or two within a long b-roll shot. Fourth, you can try something called a cropped show hide show. This is almost identical to the last tip, but the overlaid shots are actually cropped and only cover a portion of shot A. For example, in this shot, when you can see Mickey Sing singing, no pun intended, you can see the overlaying shot of the girl Dana only over half of that original bass footage. Fifth, you can anchor a stack with a more static bass clip and overlay on top a more dynamic clip to emphasize movement. Six, you can cross dissolve a serene clip at say 50% opacity on top of another serene clip to add texture to the shot. This is great for filling otherwise boring negative space. It's also great for intros and dramatic b-roll moments when it's necessary to introduce multiple narrative elements simultaneously. Cross dissolves are not something that should be overlooked. They should be used, but they should be used the correct way. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill. Oh, yeah, you gotta look